mystery interstellar object that was spotted by astronomers last week. It could be the oldest comet ever seen. In the silent dark of space, something extraordinary has arrived. Astronomers tracking a mysterious object called 3i Atlas were stunned when it began releasing a shimmering cloud of refined metal. Nickel informs that nature should never be able to produce. Suddenly, the line between comet and something far more advanced began to blur. For decades, scientists dismissed the idea of artificial visitors as fantasy. But this anomaly is forcing them to reconsider. This is the third uh, interstellar object, uh, in other words, uh, an object that came from outside the solar system. Missing elements, impossible behaviors, and theories that sound more like science fiction than science are now on the table. By the end of this, you'll understand why this interstellar visitor is being called the most profound mystery in modern astronomy, the metal without a twin. In the vast, silent theater of space, you expect certain rules to be followed. Planets orbit stars, moons orbit planets, and comets, those dirty, icy snowballs, are made of predictable stuff, water, dust, and a cocktail of frozen gases. You see, for as long as we've been looking, these cosmic travelers have been reliably messy, carrying a jumble of elements forged in the hearts of ancient stars. Among those elements, two are practically inseparable, iron and nickel. They are the cosmic twins, born together in the violent death of supernova, clinging to each other in asteroids and raining down together in meteorites. Finding one without the other in space is like finding a shadow without a person. It just doesn't happen until now. The story begins with a faint traveler, officially named 3i Atlas, discovered by the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system in Chile. This object was immediately flagged as special. It was the third interstellar object ever detected, a true outsider just passing through our celestial neighborhood at a mind-boggling speed of nearly 38 miles per second. But its origin was just the appetizer. The main course, the detail that would leave astronomers speechless, came when they pointed the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope at it. Using a technique called spectroscopy, which is like a chemical fingerprint reader for light, they analyzed the gas surrounding the comet's core, its coma. The results that came back were, to put it mildly, impossible. The instruments detected a clear, strong, and undeniable signature of nickel, but the iron, its cosmic twin, was gone, vanished, not a trace. This wasn't a small imbalance, it was a complete and total absence. In every other comet, asteroid, or meteorite ever studied, nickel and iron appear together. This discovery was so jarring, it was like looking at a human face and seeing eyes but no mouth. Many people are crazy about finding anomalies in space, but this wasn't a blurry photo or a conspiracy theory. This was hard data from one of the most advanced observatories on Earth. The printout showed pure nickel vapor, something you'd expect to find as a coating on high-tech industrial equipment, not sublimating off an ancient ball of ice and rock. The initial reaction wasn't excitement, it was confusion. The teams ran the tests again, checked the equipment, and recalibrated everything. The result was the same. 3i Atlas was surrounded by a cloud of pure nickel, and nobody could explain how. This single discovery shattered a fundamental assumption of astrophysics and opened a Pandora's box of speculation. If it wasn't natural, then what was it? But not all things are what they seem, and the rabbit hole of possibilities for this metal ghost was about to get much deeper. Cosmic chemistry on trial. Before you jump to conclusions about alien technology, you have to do what any good scientist does. Try to prove yourself wrong. The discovery of lone nickel sent researchers scrambling for a natural explanation, any plausible scenario that didn't involve little green men. The thing nobody tells you is that nature is often weirder than we give it credit for. The leading theory that emerged sounds like something out of a chemistry textbook, but it might just be the key. It's all about a strange class of compounds called metal carbonyls. Stick with this, because it's a wild ride. In the freezing vacuum of space, Carbon monoxide is everywhere. When it bumps into certain metals, it can form a unique bond, creating a metal carbonyl. Here's the kicker. Nickel tetracarbonyl 
a compound of one nickel atom and four carbon monoxide molecules, is incredibly volatile. It turns from a solid into a gas at just over 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Iron pentacarbonyl, on the other hand, needs a much higher temperature, around 289 degrees, to do the same thing. So, the theory goes like this. As 3i Atlas got closer to our sun, the nickel carbonyl on its surface reached its boiling point first and sublimated into space, creating the pure nickel cloud the telescope saw. Meanwhile, the iron carbonyl remained frozen solid, locked away deep inside the comet's icy core, completely hidden from view. It's a neat, elegant explanation. It allows for nature to be the culprit, preserving our understanding of the universe. This carbonyl alibi suggests that if we just wait, as Atlas gets even closer to the sun and heats up more, the iron will eventually cook off and make its appearance, balancing the cosmic scales once more. And there's some precedent for this. The second interstellar visitor, 2i slash Borisov, also showed some imbalances in its composition, with scientists detecting more carbon monoxide than is typical for comets from our own solar system. This suggests that the chemical processes in other star systems might be different enough to produce these kinds of oddities. Every star system has its own unique chemical recipe, so it stands to reason that their comets would be a little different too. However, the Atlas anomaly is on another level. An imbalance is one thing, a complete absence is another. It pushes the carbonyl theory to its absolute limit. The natural explanation is plausible, but the numbers just don't quite add up forcing some to look at a far more unsettling possibility. Technology's Telltale Heart This is where the story takes a sharp turn from science into the thrilling realm of speculation. When natural explanations start to look shaky, you have to consider the unnatural. And in the world of astronomy, one name is synonymous with that leap, Avi Loeb. The Harvard astrophysicist became famous or infamous depending on who you ask for suggesting that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was not a comet, but an alien probe. Now, with three eye atlas, he's doubling down. You see, for Loeb and a growing number of curious minds, the pure nickel isn't a chemical quirk. It's a technological fingerprint. In our own engineering, pure nickel is a superstar. We use it to plate surfaces for protection against corrosion and extreme heat. It's a key component in high-performance alloys used for everything from spacecraft to nuclear reactors. Finding it pure in nature is incredibly rare, but finding it in a factory is common. The hypothesis is as simple as it is terrifying. What if 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all? What if it's a piece of advanced technology, a probe or even debris from a craft that has been traveling through interstellar space for millions of years? In this scenario, the nickel isn't part of a natural rock. It's the plating on a hull that is slowly being vaporized by the sun's energy. This would perfectly explain the absence of iron. An engineered object wouldn't be a random jumble of cosmic elements. It would be made of refined, separated materials chosen for a specific purpose. And the evidence doesn't stop with the nickel. The James Webb Space Telescope took a closer look at Atlas and found another bizarre detail. It's spewing out an enormous amount of carbon dioxide with an unheard of ratio of eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water. This isn't typical for a comet. It's more like an exhaust plume. This is where the story gets even stranger because this isn't the first time a visitor from deep space has left scientists completely baffled. This whole situation ties back directly to Oumuamua, our first confirmed interstellar guest it also behaved in ways that defied easy explanation. The object, shaped either like a cigar or a flat pancake, accelerated away from the sun without any visible tail or coma. That movement simply couldn't be explained by gravity alone. It was as if something was pushing it. Avi Loeb famously argued it was a solar sail, a piece of alien technology pushed by the sun's radiation. Other scientists, trying to find a natural cause, eventually settled on the idea that it might be a hydrogen iceberg or a nitrogen iceberg, venting gas that was invisible to our telescopes. It was a scientific puzzle that was never truly solved. But now, with Atlas, we have a second interstellar visitor acting in profoundly weird ways. Many people are crazy about patterns, and two strange visitors in a row is a pattern that's hard to ignore. 
The first broke the rules of motion, and this second one is breaking the rules of chemistry. Is it possible that the galaxy is filled with these technological relics, ancient probes, or pieces of alien craft that have been drifting for eons? While the idea of an alien probe is tantalizing, newer data is painting a much more complicated and perhaps even stranger picture of what Atlas truly is. A comet after all. So, what is the truth? Is 3i Atlas a messenger from an alien civilization, or is it just a very, very weird space rock? The thing is, this is how science works. A mystery appears, wild ideas fly, and then more data comes in to settle the debate. And the latest data from the Hubble Space Telescope has thrown a bit of cold water on the alien artifact theory. Hubble's sharp eyes managed to get a better look at the object at the heart of the gas cloud. Its findings suggest that Atlas does have a solid nucleus, estimated to be less than two miles across, and it's behaving, for the most part, like a comet. It's not a giant metallic spacecraft. It seems to be a natural object, just one that doesn't fit into our neat little boxes of what a comet should be. This doesn't mean the mystery is solved. It just deepens it. If Atlas is natural, it means our understanding of cosmic chemistry is fundamentally incomplete. It implies that somewhere out there, in its home star system, there's a process that can create nickel-rich, iron-poor objects. Could it have formed in a bizarre, metal-heavy, protoplanetary disk? Or was it once part of a larger planet-like body with a differentiated core that was shattered in a cosmic collision billions of years ago? This would be like finding a piece of Earth's nickel-iron core floating in space. That would be a wow-factor discovery all on its own a puzzle piece from a world we'll never see. And so we're left in a fascinating and maybe frustrating place. The average person looking up at the stars and wondering if this is the moment we find out we're not alone might be a little disappointed. There's no smoking gun, no alien spaceship to point at. But are we missing a key detail here? The thing is, the final verdict isn't a simple yes or no to the alien question. The truth is that 3i Atlas has forced us to confront the incredible fact that the universe is far more diverse, complex, and downright weird than we ever imagined. You see, these interstellar visitors, Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas, are like postcards from other solar systems, and each one has a different, shocking message. Oumuamua told us that objects could be shaped like nothing in our solar system, and move in ways we couldn't explain. Borisov showed us a visitor that looked familiar, but had a chemical recipe that was just a little off. But Atlas, with its impossible nickel signature, might be the most important postcard yet. It's not just telling us that things are different out there, it's telling us that the fundamental rules of chemistry we thought were universal might have bizarre exceptions. It forces us to consider natural possibilities that are just as mind-blowing as aliens. What if Atlas is a fragment from the core of a shattered, long-gone planet that had a completely different geological history than our own? What if it's a piece of a world forged in a way we can't even comprehend? That, in itself, is a discovery that changes everything. It's a testament to the fact that no matter how much we learn, the cosmos will always have a new trick up its sleeve to leave us speechless and hungry for the next puzzle. So. Is 3i Atlas a natural wonder that will rewrite our chemistry books? Or is it a ghost of alien technology we can't yet comprehend? Let us know your theory in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.